So I have a pretty bold statement here that might sound controversial, but I'd love to get your feedback on this. My thought is that even a kindergartner can teach mindfulness. My five-year-old daughter, Sasha, asks me all the time, Dad, how are you feeling? What's going on with you right now? Can you bring gentle awareness to how you're feeling? Now, she might have heard me talk about this all the time with uh, my clients, but I think she really cares about how I'm actually doing. She's inviting me to check in with my moment-to-moment experience to notice how am I feeling. And she does it with a sense of gentleness and where she's kind of encouraging courage in myself to notice what is the situation like? Can I be present for myself in this moment? And so I think this really shows that mindfulness is not complicated. It's not rocket science. It's not about enlightenment. It's about being present with what's going on right here, right now. And it's not something that is foreign to really anyone. I think we've all experienced mindfulness and presence at various points of our lives. Maybe we're outside in nature or taking a shower or with a loved one or meditating And we're really present for what's actually happening, staying with the unfolding moment without judging it to be good or bad, right or wrong, without trying to change it or um, having an agenda around how it should be. We're simply noticing the fullness of this moment. And my daughter helps me do this all the time. Now, a lot of adults are afraid to help others be present because they're afraid of being judged or they feel like an imposter. They feel like they need to be mindful 100% of the time. That's just not true. To teach mindfulness, whether it's as a part of your job as a therapist or a counselor or a coach or a yoga teacher or whatever, we're simply inviting people to notice their moment-to-moment experience with gentle awareness. Not trying to change it, not trying to force an outcome. Uh, We're simply noticing what's here. That's it. You know, we can notice sensations of the body, uh, the five senses. We can notice what the mind is doing, whether the heart feels connected. You know, there's all sorts of techniques and practices and tools that I offer. But really, the essence of teaching mindfulness is really simple. And so if you're thinking about helping others be present, if mindfulness has made an impact on you, or if you'd like to guide meditations, I encourage you to try inviting others to be present. And remember that we're simply just offering a few tools to see what works for them. Not everyone's going to like you. Not everyone will like mindfulness or meditation. And that's okay. And not everyone likes me. Not everyone likes the Dalai Lama. I'm not equating myself to the Dalai Lama, but not everyone will like you. And that's okay. But, you know, as an extension of our heart, the sense of compassion to help others We can simply invite people to see if they can notice their present moment experience. That's really all it is. We don't have to know all the answers to their questions. We don't have to have been a Buddhist monk for 10 years. I mean, I was a Buddhist monk for a couple years, but teaching mindfulness is a lot more simple than, say, being a monk. If you want to help others be present, I hope this is helpful. Even a kindergartner can invite presence in others. If you want to certify to teach mindfulness in professional settings where certifications go a long way, I'd be honored to support you. You can find the links below. But my name is Sean Fargo, the founder of Mindfulness Exercises, and I'd be honored to support you. Thank you. Take good care.